and uh, I come with a number uh, 10 blade I do the incision and and here comes the geyser I put it again in slow motion in case you missed it there it is and then one last time you're gonna see it on regular speed and you can see once the initial geyser went off it's still flowing there's still a lot of stuff coming out um, the gauzes get pretty quickly soaked with abundant of seropurulent fluid I'm just milking uh, you notice how far out I'm pushing on this deltoid area that's how far the area of firmness and tenderness and and um, hardening of the deltoid area of this patient I was actually impressed with the amount I got since he he definitely was red and, and, and warm all throughout but he wasn't all that swollen it was mostly firm skin um, as we go through you see that even in not doing anything it's still kind of flowing through I'm picking up some extra gosses because there's so much coming out it was soaking through and you can see there's more stuff coming out surprisingly enough it wasn't that bad of smell um, it didn't smell bad at all sometimes these abscess uh, smell and, and, and intoxicate the whole emergency department uh, this one although very infectious and sort of pure and fluid it wasn't all that smelly here we are continuing to put pressure and continuing to get this pus out the more we get the less the body has to get rid of the less the body has to heal or or fight against the more bacteria we uh, reduce from the wound itself here I'm trying to express uh, the pus from the regional area on the lateral sides there we continue through putting some pressure um, so let's talk about these abscesses. I mean this patient had a past history of um, a very common bacteria nowadays of methicillin resistant staph aureus which is a, uh, a, a bug that's resistant to methicillin MRSA or one of the super bugs so we're presuming this is the same um, type of infection we're gonna treat them with Bactrin since our local sensitivities to Bactrin are close to 100 percent they're 99 percent or so uh, if the patient was allergic or resistant to Bactrin we could have used clindamycin uh, because he has some area of cellulitis and patient had myalgias, which are body aches, signifying there's some systemic response to the infection. I went ahead and gave him a shot of ceftriaxone, uh, which is uh, uh, a cephalosporin. Not really targets very well um, MRSA, but it does target all the bacteria. This is a, a 1 in 10 dilution of povidine. I'm just irrigating the wound, trying to kill as much bacteria as I can. And you can see I'm injecting the stuff right into the wound letting it settle and then getting it out uh, you know when we pack this stuff we pack it with iodoform gauze which is the same thing I'm injecting as a liquid there kind of killing whatever is left in there now you can't use pure iodine into wounds because it kills also the white cells which help fight infection so you can use very dilute iodine solution here is the packing material is half an inch and it's iodoform uh, also soaked and I'm gonna start pushing stuff in and it just goes in forever this really was a big hole and uh, I continue to insert this in now let's talk about that this patient is gonna come back in three days I'm only back in the year I'm gonna update a video on his follow-up and we're gonna pull this thing out see how he's healing um, the reason we pack these is because then the, the wound has a chance to heal from the inside out if, if we weren't gonna pack it that hole stays empty it's going to refill with pus because the bacteria are going to find a nice place to grow by putting this iodoform packing they don't have a place to grow into as well as the uh, opening stays op uh, on the skin will stay open allowing the pus to drain if there's any so if a patient comes back saying hey it's draining a bunch that's a good thing that's what we want if it's not draining much then the infection might all be still in there and when we pull it we might get some stuff out so we'll see how he's doing in a couple of days you can see I'm still going at it I actually edit the video a little bit it's a little shorter than the actual um, time when I did it uh, put the patient on back to now remember for MRSA it needs to be two tablets of the double strength dose twice a day and we're gonna do that for 10 days uh, also we gave him some pain medicine because this is gonna hurt once the medicine for pain wears off and finally when we're done packing it well we cut it off and wrap it I want to thank very much to the patient for allowing me to take this video and share it, share it with all you um, this is a very interesting case very abundant pus and, and infection uh, so the important thing here is you know don't do this at home to go to the ER early don't wait till you have fevers and chills because then you buy yourself an admission to the hospital uh, 
you're trying to do this at home and when you don't get it out, it actually gets into the tissue and you can get much sicker. So, so let the doctors do this.